Over 70% of individuals experience stress that keeps them stuck. And stress is not something to wear as a badge of honor because it impacts our mental and physical health. What is stress? Stress is a biological response to stressors. It could be an external stressor, which we don't have control over, but we have control over how we respond to it. An example of that are people, life situations, or it can be an internal stressor, which we have more control over because it's happening internally, such as our thoughts, our self-talk, our limiting beliefs. All of those things cause stress. It's important that we evaluate that. So I want to give you some things to think about. But before I do that, let's talk about the types of stress. So we have acute stress. Many are familiar with fight or flight. That's an example of acute stress, short-lived. Then we have episodic stress. It lasts a little longer. An example of that can be public speaking. But once you're done and you walk off the stage, you are all good. Then we have eustress. How many of you have heard of eustress? No? Eustress is an excited stress. You're excited, but it's still a stress response. So that can be a wedding, a pregnancy. If you were planning on being pregnant, that's an example of eustress. But then we have chronic stress. Chronic stress is everlasting. You feel like it's never going to end. An example of that can be the pandemic or past traumas that you haven't dealt with. The problems with chronic stress is that it's associated with depression, anxiety, suicide, diabetes, hypertension, acid reflux, impotence for men, infertility for women, autoimmune disease, and some cancers. Many people underestimate the power of stress. That's why it's so important for us to manage it.